1971, uh, we find out where 420 came from. Uh, it is the five Wal Waldos. These are uh, five guys who were in uh, the same high school up in Point Reyes uh, in uh, Marin County, California, uh, as far as I understand it. And uh, they uh, decided, or they had heard about the Point Reyes Peninsula Coast Guard Station had been uh, apparently abandoned uh, by the service member there because uh, uh, he couldn't serve anymore and he could no longer tend to his plot of marijuana, apparently. Now, that was a story that was going around back in 71. So these five guys who are all uh, in football uh, decide, hey, you know what, we've got to find this magic lost uh, tract of land that has the marijuana in it. And so they would tell each other, hey, you know what, let's get together after practice at 420 in front of the Louis Pasteur field or statue, I believe it was a statue, and, uh, and let's go uh, find this plot of land. And they would constantly remind each other during school, hey, 420 Louis. In fact, it started as 420 Louis. And then eventually they dropped the Louis part, and it just became 420. Now, this would have just died in their particular high school because it's just a bunch of guys, you know, talking to each other in this code. And eventually it became not just let's meet at 420 to try to find this magical land of pot, <laughs> but uh, whenever they were smoking, they referred to it as 420. Now, they don't want to re reveal their names, their actual names, because now they're good law-abiding citizens, as if when they were back smoking pot, they weren't good law-abiding citizens. But they're a little worried about it. It technically is illegal, of course. So they won't give their full names. But uh, the way that it spread was a couple of the guys started working in some peripheral ways for the Grateful Dead. One of them ran the, uh, the finance of one of the dead members. And so he would always be at the concerts when the dead moved uh, to Marin County, basically, to uh, escape the drug laws of where they were in California already, and then hate Ashbury, which had developed a crime problem, etc. So when they moved, basically, that whole Grateful Dead operation to Marin County, they ran into these guys. And a couple of them would linger around, and they'd keep using this term 420. And next thing you know, some of the dead started using the word 420. Next thing you know, it started seeping into their uh, the culture of the Grateful Dead and into their audience. And next thing you know, High Times picked it up, the magazine, and it's explain that the 420 means, you know, either smoking pot or some reference to pot, uh, although they at the time didn't know where it came from either. And this has all been traced back to these guys. And then when they asked a couple of the dead members, they said, you know, we don't really quite remember, but that sounds very plausible because we have no idea where we got it from. <laughs> and several other witnesses have confirmed this, and then their story checks out. And it turns out it was these five guys in a high school uh, that just started meeting at 420 to go try to look for pot. Now... In their view, of course, they were going to find this acre of, uh, of land or this plot of land where they were growing the pot. So did they ever find it, by the way? No, they didn't. And does pot kill? Okay, an amusing little way of putting it, but uh, of course not. It turns out that all five are successful businessmen now. One runs a finance camp company. The other one uh, works for them. Uh, one uh, runs a gutter business, uh, cleaning up gutters, etc., but he's the head of the gutter division. All five are successful, and they still use pot from time to time, but one of them said, not as much as we uh, used to, because i got to concentrate on my business. <laughs> but they were all fine, and it's cool how a couple of guys in a local area started this whole thing the whole uh, world uh, now knows about. And now, of course, on April 20th, a lot of people get together at 4.20 in the afternoon uh, to smoke a little weed from here. What I understand, I, I've never partaken uh, in that practice <laughs> of getting together on April 20th and smoking at 420, but it sounds like fun. And so uh, that's the story of 420 and where it comes from.